Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan. This is the Android App Show, episode number 60. This week we're watching you like Apple, Google, and Microsoft. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the show, everyone. As we mentioned at the beginning, we are watching you. No, we're not, are we? <laughs> this is the uh, the only Android show that watches you back. That's right. We're tracking you no matter where you are. Yeah. And we're selling that information, and we're rich. Can't you tell? Ah! <laughs> so rich, I got new hair. <laughs> it's old hair. It's real old hair. <laughs> oh. Yikes. So episode 60. Yeah. Pretty amazing. I think that's a good milestone. Pretty mm-hmm. soon we'll be able to retire. Yeah. So <laughs> we get cheaper coffee now though. Oh. Well that happened at episode 55. Oh, yeah. Right? That was at uh, Bob Evans or something. I don't know. I go yeah. out to I go out to breakfast with my grandpa every now and then. I know some of the good hot spots to keep my uh my bill low. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently Google knows some of the good hot spots too. Uh, that's right. They know all the hot spots. Mm-hmm. A little bit of uh, controversy there. We're going to talk about that this week. It's true. So uh, we'll, we should probably introduce ourselves, though. Yeah. I am uh, Brad. No, I'm Dave. Ah, uh, yes. I'm reading the thing at the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, that's right. And I'm Lane. Yeah. So in did case you, in case you've never seen the show before. Did you know we, we do it correctly? We do it correctly. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? In video, you're supposed to say, I am. In audio, you're supposed to say, this is. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but we do audio and video. I know. So um So I'm, maybe in post no, but, I'll oh, have to oh, edit oh, oh, it. Oh, but <laughs> I am also is avail is usable in audio. But this is is usually only for audio. Ah. But we could say this is the Android app show. I guess that works. Because I'm not the Android app show. And neither am I. That's right. The Android app show is bigger than both of us. It is bigger than both of us. And so is our first news story. Well, before we get to that, I want to talk about our sponsors for the show. That's right. Go to meeting. Those guys are awesome. They're rocking it. They are not tracking you. No. But they should or you should be tracking them because they do some great stuff. Go to meeting dot com. Uh you can do online collaboration. You can um meet with people on there. Do a bunch of stuff, right, Lane? That's right. And if you're tired of uh Google watching you and Microsoft watching you and Apple watching you, then you can log on to go to meeting dot com, put in the promo code like. podcast, and watch each other. Mm-hmm. It really <laughs> <laughs> watch each other. All right, it really is a smarter way to do business. Now you don't have to travel, you don't have to go around the whole state. I looked at my phone and I found that I have been around the whole entire state with my yeah, iPhone. It's pretty well the entire Lower Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, and and Chicago <laughs> and DC and. Oh Toledo. my gosh, I've done so much traveling, it's crazy. But with GoToMeeting, you don't have to travel. You can just stay at your house and use your one Wi-Fi spot, and Google will not know anything else. Uh, but GoToMeeting, great way to just share online. You can share screens, you can share collaborators, you can hand over screen sharing to other people. Yeah, but Dave, uh, but what happens if you have that document there, and uh, and you want them to be able to to check it out too? Well, yeah, you can you can definitely share that nice. information. You can just display it on your screen. They see what you see, and you can see what they see. It's it's really a great thing. So go to go to meeting dot com. Click on the try it now button and use the promo code podcast for your offer. There, it's thirty days of free unlimited online meetings. Thirty days. That's a that's a long time. That's a that's a, I think that's long enough. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You get on there, 30 days, you'll be able to try it out, forget about it, come back to it again, yeah. and be like, hey, you know what? I can't believe I forgot about this, because it's awesome. Yeah. And don't forget about it, but we are going to be moving on right now to our next news story. So, Lane. Yes. Up? So, the big news this week is Location Gate. Wow! That's what I'm calling it. I don't know. I haven't seen that in a headline yet, but I'm sure that's what everybody's going to be, uh, it will be calling soon. it on the uh, mm-hmm. the evening news. So, uh, apparently Apple is keeping a log of all their iOS users 
location history, yeah. which is pretty amazing, you know, uh, especially since they didn't tell anybody that they were going to do this. Should I should I show mine? Uh, you should totally show yours. I'll show mine if you show yours. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, that's an appropriate pun. It is an appropriate pun. Awesome. Uh, way to way to score that one. So, do you want to go first, Dave, or uh, or how do you how do you want to play this? Mine's loading because there's so much data. Okay, I'll do I'll do mine first. Okay. There you okay, are. let's pull her up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And so, see what you're viewing here is an app specifically for. Uh, does it work on Windows or is it Mac only? It's Mac only right now. So and okay. it pulls your location data out of the the information stored on your computer. How does yes. that? What is so that? with the iPhone, they store it in a file on your iPhone, and that is then transferred over to your computer during the sync. Whoa! And when if you get a new iPhone, it's transferred to the new device also. So it just keeps it going. Yeah, <laughs> because this was before I had my original iPhone. So you can kind of, it shows it on a map here, which is kind of cool because it's an open source little map. And as you zoom in here, I'm just double clicking. You can see the places that I've been, the stories. Oh, the places you've been. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I went down to Fort Wayne. Yeah, apparently you went there for a while. I guess so. I don't remember doing that. For a while. Either that or somebody stole my phone and went down there. I don't remember going down there. Oh, no, I do remember going down there. I yeah. had to go down there, you too. You went to almost Fort Wayne. I went to, let's see, this place right over here. I can zoom in, see where this is. I Super hope zoom. Hope Sorry, it's I've nothing inappropriate. Too much see, and you can't click on these dots. That's kind of annoying. But you can yeah. at least get an address. And I believe that is Sweetwater, the place where we bought our mixer board. No oh, way. Gosh. Yeah. So The thing that brings you all, this, uh, all the video magic. Yes. And just pan around a little bit. Good Look Lord. at all those <laughs> data spots. Oh, my gosh. And then you go up to here. I've been to... Is that, is that the slightest bit disturbing to you that all this is just is stored on you know your what? phone? I like on it. On your computer? I kind of like it because I'm kind of one of those guys who like likes a lot of information and doing stuff with it. The only thing is I would have really, really appreciated if they would have let me know up front. <laughs> like... I understand this is cool. I made it a feature, not a bug. But, like, really, <laughs> is there a cell phone tower that I have not hit in the Metro Detroit area? Yeah, apparently, apparently. right around here. Right <laughs> Garden City. <laughs> like, you avoided Garden City like the plague. Yeah, Garden City. No good. <laughs> no good. I wonder if that's... I don't know where that is. Well, see, but look, it's between those two highways there, though. That's yeah. why. That's probably why. Yeah. Sorry, Garden City viewers. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a hole. <laughs> well, and which is weird. We live in Jackson here, and it doesn't seem to be that much activity in Jackson. No, I'm wondering if it's some weird. I don't know. Although I am seeing Wi-Fi. something, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. I don't want to bring it up on here, but I, I do see a pattern on there. I'll share it with you on on the map. Oh, it's I'll, like I'll, I'll bring it up offline. Okay. Why is it incriminating? No, no, no. It's just location specific that you might not want. Oh. All over the internet, nothing, uh, nothing oh. shady or anything like that. Okay, just more like home location and work location. <laughs> oh yeah, so I don't really see too much of that on here though. A lot of this was when I when I did a lot of traveling with my other job. Yeah. So a lot of this is kind of. I went to Flint a lot too. Weird. I don't remember that. Well, pretty amazing. That is what stuff, it looks like though. on the iPhone. Pretty extensive. Extensive. Yeah, so apparently there's a lawsuit being filed against Apple now Good. about this stuff. I mean, the story just broke, and I think this information about the lawsuit came out today. I mean, you can't do this without letting people know. Yeah, really? like, but I don't know. The lawsuit's kind of crazy. They're asking for an injunction against Apple, blocking them from doing this anymore. So that's the first part of it. The second part is asking for a refund for all the Apple devices it's not clear if they're saying, we'll give you the device back. They're just saying, we want our money back. Refund? Yeah, refund. So, I'm sure that Apple's not going to be down with no, that. No, no, so, But they probably have to have some sort of a monetary figure in there. You know what I mean? Damages for the oh, yeah. lawsuit. And so, that's probably mm-hmm. what they're going with, saying, we want a refund for the device, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure the lawyers will take their half. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the people with iOS devices will get coupons for an app. 
So, because <laughs> that's how class action lawsuits work. But as far as anybody uh, can tell, the data hasn't been sent to Apple. So I guess all this stuff, uh, like nobody really knows for sure. Right. But these security companies now that are investigating it, I've seen at least two different reports now. I think a third one too. It says they they looked at it, they ran it through the magic software that they do to throw at these devices, and it has not been shared out mm-hmm. to Apple. So maybe Apple doesn't know all this stuff. It's just on your device. Hmm. But why would it be there? If a bug? A bug? Maybe? No, maybe it's a, a coder specific... that just forgot? Yeah, that could be. goes back all the way to July 7th. Some people are oh, speculating thing... that it was supposed to be for a service that never launched. One thing that I didn't mention in this that I think I should show again is with mine here. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry about. <laughs> sorry for showing yours on the screen. Um, Premature. Yeah. So with this one, um, you can kind of, it does it by time too. So you can scroll this little. Oh yeah. This is nice. This is kind of nice though. Yeah. You can kind of go back and see during those periods of time where you spent the majority of your time. And I really don't see too many like similarities and you can play it through so you can see like, okay, I was down there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. I was really all around the map a lot. Heck Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and you see that one explosion. <laughs> yeah. This shows how crazy my job was before. Where I'd spend time in all of these. It's like a bad <laughs> weather map. Yeah. You know? Like when the, it kinda it does kind of remind me of one of those lightning strike maps. I almost think it is three G or maybe the towers had to be enabled with that. Because this Jackson stuff only popped up recently. Oh well, but look at some of well, those three. rural areas though, you know they don't have three G. Yeah. It's strange, though, don't you think? I agree. Well, there's some of them popped up there. It's just really weird. It's very strange because I haven't been in that very often. I don't even know. Maybe there are times. See, that's from right last now. month, the middle of last month, it says. I don't remember doing that at all. I swear I was not there, <laughs> officer. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Uh, watch a previous episode if you're curious about someone, what that means. Someone stole my phone, officer, and took it, to the, took it to the crime scene. Yeah, but in Michigan, well, even if it's not, like you were saying, it is probably not uploaded to Apple. Yeah. Even so, you didn't know this was on your phone. No. In Michigan now, it's the law where if they pull you over, they can take the contents of your phone and download it. Yeah, though they're saying that they don't. That they don't take the contents of your phone? Yeah, they're saying that they only do it if they have a warrant or if they have the permission from the person with the phone. But the permission thing is but kind of a big loophole anyway. Yeah. Because Can you know cops, yeah, they always ask you stuff and you're like, yeah. uh, if I say no, what does that mean? And then they can lie to you because that's legal too. So mm. We just want to take a look at your phone for a second. That's right. 18, or uh, what is it, 59 seconds later or something? Like and everything's copied off 30 of 30 seconds later. <laughs> and they have this file. Womp, womp. So, but here's the other big news too. Guess what? Google and Microsoft track your location too. Oh, so it? it is not just Apple. Uh, so I got to get off my uh, my fanboy pedestal or whatever about all this stuff. Right. But I think everybody was uh, pretty aware that Google was doing location tracking. So, uh, but some of the other information I put in here in the show notes. Uh, Everybody was kind of fine with this uh, because there's been kind of an uproar lately, but everybody was fine when it was just phone companies and the federal government that could track you. But now that it's these three companies that can do it too, it's all of a sudden a big deal. Yeah. So I don't know what what that's all about. But of course, you know, constitutional Mm -hmm. rights don't apply to private companies. You know what I mean? So that it's it's, the constitutional rights protect you from the government, not from private companies. So the phones could always just go ahead and, you know, pull up that information. I mean, the phone companies, rather. Um, And until very recently, there weren't any court decisions saying that the federal government could not pull up that information without a warrant. And in fact, they were doing it. That's why they were taken to court. And there hasn't even been a Supreme Court ruling on this. So uh, it depends on what district you live in, like what federal court district, uh, appeals court district you live in. But uh, in some places, the standard is uh, just... They have some sort of a, like a reason to suspect, you know, something so they can do it without a warrant. <laughs> yeah, there's, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff. And, and in some other areas, the court has said, no, you have to have a warrant signed by a judge before you can do this. 
So, and this includes yeah. not just this information, pulling it from your phone, but live location tracking based on GPS or cell phone tower triangulation, which unless you're in case, just in case you're not worried about that, it is much more accurate than Google's version of cell phone tower triangulation. Right. So, because they actually do the real trigonometry and figure out right where you are based on uh, cell tower signal strength. Right. And this, so. these ones are just like, they yeah. ping you. Yes. It's not, not super smart. Yeah. So, because of all this, I decided that I'm going to review uh, this app this week called Location Cache. So, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and bring up the... The super screen, or nope, we got the, uh, there it is. It is free, and it has an uninspiring icon. <laughs> so, <laughs> free with an uninspiring icon. Yeah. Well, Let's... what do you want for free, right? And you're not paying them to, to make stuff. So, There's lanes. Yep. Lanes shape. Your, yours is smaller than mine. Yeah. It is kind of phallic, too, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit phallic. So, that's fine, though. So... Google is apparently storing uh, the location, and it, and it bases it on Wi-Fi and cell towers. Mm-hmm. So you'll see those little Wi-Fi symbols on here, and this is—it's just like a Google map. You can pinch in and out, mm-hmm. or you can press the, you know, the zoom in and the zoom out buttons. It's nice that this is on your device. Yeah, like you can just pull it right. You can install it, pull it right up. Let's see if I hit menu. I can toggle the cell phone towers, and it'll show only the Wi-Fi networks that I. That I hit, mm-hmm. and it shows you know I travel up 127, and I work in Mason, and live in Jackson, and have family in Jackson too. So I'll toggle the cell towers back on, turn the Wi-Fi off, and this gives you more like a general area. Like the yeah. this follows me clear out to Parma. Cool. And then, you know more, but like, uh, yeah, that's the other thing too. You click on one of them. Oh, that's cool. And it gives you the accuracy, which these are cell towers, so the accuracy number is high, which means it's less accuracy. The confidence, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what that means. Yeah. So, (laughs) (laughs) and Latin Lounge, and when the date was. One thing you might notice here, all the dates are within the past three days. Yeah. So, let's see how. You can pull that up in a different view, right? Yeah. So, I'm going to go back. When you first open the app, this is actually what you're going to see. Uh, it shows I have it. Well, oh. I I said three days, and it looks like it limits it to fifty entries in cell phone and two hundred in uh, Wi-Fi. That would that seems right. So pretty cool. Uh, and you click on view map right there to bring up the map, or you can click on view list, and it lists out the uh, cell tower locations. And we can skip on down here to. Got to do a lot of skipping. scrolling, scrolling Wi-Fi. Oh. You notice know, oh, the wow. Wi-Fi on this. Much more accurate. See, we're getting 60, 60, oh, 95. Yeah. Confidence is higher. 92. I don't, know. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they, what that's all about. But it has the exact date and time right on there, too. Oh. So, kind of cool if you're not creeped out by it. Well, you well, can also export a GPX file to your SD card, which cool. will, it'll take all this information, put it into a nice XML formatted card, or yeah, card file mm-hmm. and then you can open that up with uh, pretty much any mapping program uh, and a lot of GPS's too they support these GPX files yeah so in, like the Google my maps uses them and I think uh, my tracks uses them as well mm-hmm. so you can put it in there so the last like, thing yeah I like these the last two on the bottom are in red empty caches and empty and block caches cool. so that you can clear out your cache of locations or you can click that to clear out and block. Mm. You know, and block means it will never let it write again. And they have a little explanation down here at the bottom saying, if there's no data, you've likely disabled the use wireless networks under your location and security settings, mm. or you already deleted it. Yeah. So, But if you disable the option to use the wireless networks for location, no data will be recorded. Um, but you, what's going to happen is your phone's going to take longer to locate itself on maps, right. yeah. et cetera. Um, but blocking, which is the empty and block caches option on here, blocking uh, does not disable the use wireless networks for your location. Well, that's cool. Uh, the location lock remains fast, so there's no issues for performance, but no data will be left over on your device. So it just clears the cache. Yeah, and like it, it prevents it from writing to this file. Okay. 
So, and the used wireless networks thing is a GPS. You know, it's assisted GPS. Right. That's what they're. Uh, so, can anyone just go and install this file? No, you have to be a root user. Root. So sorry. Uh, if you don't have your phone rooted, which is essentially gaining administrative access to your phone, uh, like mm-hmm. any, like if you have a reg- if you have a Windows computer or a Mac computer, it comes with administrative access available. Um, but on a phone, right. it doesn't come with that. Uh, you know, there's some reasons. Basically, the phone company can block you from installing apps or whatever. But it is not illegal to root your phone. It is perfectly legal in the United States. I don't want to speak for other countries, but you can do it. Yes. Uh, but I highly recommend it, especially for things like this. If you're concerned about your phone being tracked, find a friend who knows yeah. what they're doing. Have them root your phone. So you can mm-hmm. get the stuff cleared out, and it won't be stored on your phone anymore. Especially and, if you have, like, a crazy ex-girlfriend or something. Indeed. <laughs> yep. Or a restraining order on other people. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's some other apps, though, that are more crazy ex-girlfriend-ish, restraining yep. order-ish that you might want to be concerned about. Not, not necessarily this uh, storing the location on your phone, but... As far as just having that data hanging out there in case your phone gets lost, yeah. uh, somebody with you know some nefarious intentions could say, hey, yeah, it looks like he's hanging around this place a lot and this place a lot. So it okay. probably means he's working here because it says he's here at this time. And it says he's here at this time. This it looks like his house is in a residential neighborhood. So I'll wait till he's gone and then go uh, oh. rob him and you know steal his dogs. Mm-hmm. So Steal his dogs? Yeah. Who would... Oh, people, you are despicable. I know, stealing dogs. It's the lowest of the low, but that's what people do when they get a hold of your phone and uh, and know where you've been. <laughs> Man, what? Lock up your puppies. Yeah, hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> Did you see that guy got arrested? What guy? Oh, hmm. they found him? No, no, no. The Antoine Dobbs or whatever. Yeah, he got arrested for possession of marijuana. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Can't say I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Sorry, Antoine. It is funny, though. <laughs> so, again, this is on the Android market. It is called Location Cash, and it is free. So, buy it now. Good choice. Buy it now for free. Super good choice, Lane. So, I'm going to do I'm gonna do one more app review this week. Oh, please. And we're going to cover some news. Uh, this one is a game, so I'm going to get a little bit more lighthearted. It's yeah. called Forbidden Breaks. Get your party on. As in, the breaks are forbidden because we are going breakless. The nice. line's been cut. Just foot on the gas. Going all out. No brake pads. No such thing as last. Sweet. If I can open it. It's a dollar forty-four. Buck forty-four. So it's, it's priced in some other currency. Yeah, and they haven't done the new thing where they can put it into yeah. dollars because uh, obviously it seems like they'd make it a buck forty-nine. But yeah, whatever. Or two dollars. Whatever. A dollar ninety-nine. Yeah. Don't do that, please. Don't do this. <laughs> the buck fifty. All right. So are you ready? We'll pull up the HDMI gadget camera. Yeah. I like this. Camelheads team is the name of the developer, and it's kind of like spins off like that. You see that? Yeah, I saw that. Pretty awesome. You guys on the audio are missing it. Totally. So you can do time attack on here. Uh, you have tons of different tracks to choose from, but wait, some of them are locked. Ooh. Why are they locked? Because you have to go into championship and unlock tracks. The more championships you beat. Okay. Same thing with the single race. Mm. So you have to. Yeah, once you unlock them, they're available for both. I don't have the last three unlocked. You got to work. Got to work to play this game. Yeah, well, I used to have it all unlocked, but, Hmm. you know. Wiped my phone one day, and there it went. Which is kind of why I'm excited about this whole... Angry Birds update that's supposed to be coming where it syncs your progress across all your devices. Oh, cool. So love it. more developers need to get on board with that. Game Center. I would love it if this said. No way. Game Center Open doesn't paint. do that because you, well, what what the iPhone does is it backs up your data file. Yeah. So once you reinstall the app, you know, from your computer, because like when I jailbroke my phone, the, the iPod, when I jailbroke it and put the apps back on. Yeah. Had everything right back with it because it had those files, but with this, not so much. You got to use titanium, and sometimes that's kind of hanky. And titanium, yeah, titanium backup. Right. So, back to the app review. Please. I'm gonna go to championship, which is how you unlock levels. Okay. Start a new championship. Yeah, I was in the middle of one, but it was, it was the one clear up here. You See were doing that? So good. And I, yeah, and I, you know, 
I uh, it's hard. See, I see that this one says hard. Twelve races. It's a little bit more. To, I'm gonna back down here. We'll do this third one right here. Cool. So Something easy good. five races give you a good idea. So there is no gas. You have a pause button, a respawn button, which restraightens you out, and then two thumbprints on the bottom, which steer you right and left if you hold down on them. So, like, I'm holding left, I'm holding right, and I'm going everywhere except on the track like I need to be. And again, oh. there's no gas and no brake. So it's just constantly throttle open, and you got to kind of drift around these corners. I'm pull this up here. I'm way behind everybody. This is kind of a, there you go. I don't see any, uh, thumb tapping it. Look at the mark of those thumbs. I know you were like, are those thumbprints on the screen? <laughs> this totally looks like, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of my off-road Sherlock Holmes ra- kit. When it reminds I, me of like off road rally or whatever that was called. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. At the arcade, yeah. you could play four people at the same time. Uh huh. Yeah. Somebody needs, you know what? I'm going to try and find one of those games for uh, for Android to review it. <laughs> if somebody hasn't made it, please, please make it, because now you've got me thinking about it. Let me cut these guys off. Oh, oh, you're... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, and oh, since gotcha. you're, you're all open throttle, so, like, everything is steering skill. Ah, uh, you got to totally drift it. Yeah. It's like Tokyo Drift for mini cars. <laughs> Android Tokyo Drift. Oh, dude, you're drifting. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. You totally cut it. Ooh. They're, they're playing uh, angry with you, man. Yeah. I thought it said that this level was easy. <laughs> Ooh. I think I get myself in trouble, too, because I watch the monitor instead of my actual phone when I'm playing the game. Yeah. Yeah, now that you're watching your phone, you're doing much better. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There's something about... When you get used to playing these games, yeah, you know, looking at the phone instead of a screen. That was the other thing, too. I don't know if you noticed on that last little bit right there. It didn't come up with a press screen to move on or whatever. You kind of have to just figure it out. Yeah. So I don't know if the developer is watching this. There's a couple of little pet peeves I have. This game's been out for a while, too. Uh, they've updated it, added some tracks and stuff over time. Um, but the gameplay has pretty much remained the same. There's just a couple little things like that I wish they would change. Oh no, not in the grass. Oh, oh man. The, the thumbprints do look a little distracting from here, from our view. Yeah. Just watching the screen, but I mean, your thumbs are over them. Yeah, and if nothing else, it does, it provides you a guide yeah. for when, where you're supposed to press, and you notice it when, you're, when your thumb has moved off of it, and right. that is really the key. Yeah. With these games, it's real easy to uh, kind of get lost in the game and then not realize you know, where you're supposed to be pressing. Wandering thumbs. Yeah, wandering, wandering thumb syndrome. Mm-hmm. This track. Oh, oh no! Oh, that they was screwed me. Really bad, Lane. They jammed oh, me up. Oh my gosh. They, are, were after, they were working as a coordinated effort to knock you off the track. It was. You all saw it. This game is dirty. I've always contended since I was a kid that the computer cheats because it knows. Yeah. I mean, it knows everything. I mean, it would make sense. Oh, how are you going to do this? Oh, did you see that dirty move? Boom. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Just totally. That's how you know I've been playing the game too much. <laughs> Dude, that was, like a, that was like a top gun move right there. Nice. He's trying to catch up to me. I like the, the um, kind of tra- tread marks on the screen there. Yeah, they stay, too. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And as you go up in the levels, mm. there's a few more tracks, and they make it so that the uh, there's more laps, too. And I think this is, the last, uh, this is the last race. Take me back to the beginning. Let's see. When they repeat a track like this, the computer gets harder. Mm. Oh, dude, you could have totally. Mm. Yeah. You're, you're caught in the pack. Oh no! No no no! Oh no! No 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 no! no, 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 no. Reset. <laughs> oh, so that's what reset does. Yep. 
I see. And it helps when you when you realize that you should do it much sooner than what I did. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to pull out of that though. And yeah. Yeah. Was I wrong? Ooh, look at that drift. That was a clean drift. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get this one. Off. No, it won't be last place, I don't think. No. But not last, but it'll be hard to t catch those two way up there. You might be able to if you get this. Well, this is the, this is it right here. Oh no! Oh no! Mm -hmm. Oh, so close though. Yeah. So close. What are those checkered flaggy things? I don't know. They're just supposed to look cool. Hmm. Like a. So finish. I got I got third place. Like a checkered flag. Like a finish Jeez. Flag. So, that's Forbidden Breaks. Uh, I love this game. I love this game. It's it's pretty awesome because you can pick it up, do a race, and if you exit back out of the game, it saves your progress. You can pop back in it and continue, you know, your uh, your championship race later. So, that's cool. Buck forty four on the Android market. Well I say it. it is well worth it. Yes, yes, indeed. Until they come out with off road rally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking at that stuff up now. You'll see, uh, if they got it, you'll see a review coming out later. Because <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm going to review it on the iPad show in a minute. Uh, no, they don't. I'm sure they have something like it. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'll have to look that up too. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you think? We'll cover some news. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more news out there. Yes. Not not the big stories on the block, but. Well, I don't know. We this uh, this is kind of first news. one I've got is, is a little bit big. Uh, the army chooses Android, so Ooh. pretty cool stuff. Uh, the army has chosen Android as their they're calling it the Joint Battle Command platform. So, now they would be someone I would be concerned about having their location tracked. Yes, <laughs> indeed. That might be awkward. Yeah, to explain that. One. But the great thing about Android is that it's open source, so they can go and edit it, and boom! All of a sudden, there's no location tracking right. anywhere in the army. So. But essentially what this is, it's a pack that each soldier wears, and it gives them all these capabilities that you could possibly imagine that Android could bring to a battlefield. Hmm. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, interestingly enough, we covered last year, remember the Army had this uh, DARPA challenge to code apps totally. for Android and iOS. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was They were talking about they were trying to decide on what platform they were going to go with. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the... The fruits of their labor. Uh, yeah. This is the follow-up to that that story we did. So, essentially, it's going to allow soldiers to tag locations on maps marking IEDs and oh, wow. other crucial information. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, communicate with within their unit and unit commander using, uh, like, an instant messaging-like mm. program. Yeah. And uh, they can locate all members of their unit, you know, view it on a map. Uh, they can view imagery and... Uh, like in video and stuff from drones. Oh, cool! Uh, using it, and they can select strike targets on like satellite imagery, on mm. uh, you know to have the drone, wow. then uh, go ahead and and take them out. So, like Angry cool Birds stuff. style. Yes, yes, that's right. Those are some real Angry Birds. Can make a, well, that's the interesting thing too, because there's going to be different interfaces for this stuff. <laughs> Uh, ranging from classic maps to augmented reality, and uh -huh. I guess maybe Angry Birds. You don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could see that. I could see them. <laughs> then like the Al Qaeda pig stacked up, and you got to pull the the drone back and let go in it. Whatever. <laughs> That's disturbing on so many. Levels. <laughs> it is kind of weird, um, but it's Android, so pretty much anything is possible. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna be. They're gonna have like this core set of apps. Uh, that the army is going to be supporting, much like Google supports their own Google apps. Uh, and then they're also going to have certified developers for the platform mm -hmm. uh, so that like Boeing or any, any of these other contractors or I'm sure new people, you know, they're going to come on uh, developing for Android that can make just about any app that you could think of, mm -hmm. you know, that can run on Android. Cool. Um, so, I mean, the the... The possibilities are almost endless. It kind of blows the mind to think about it. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of futuristic, like a like some predator stuff, you know. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> it is crazy. It's crazy that they're that like they're putting that much like, yeah, responsibility on a platform. Yeah, like moral responsibility and all this stuff that 
on a platform that's about uh you know, about two and some odd years old. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, whether that part is wise or not, I don't know. But uh, the whole the whole idea of the army taking that next step because there's been a lot of discussion about modernization of forces and uh-huh. you know whether you know nah, none of this is is real political, but like you have to keep your army up to date. You know, mm-hmm. part of the whole history of the United States has been that our army has been cutting edge, and that's how that's one of the ways that we've stayed. You know. Uh, so dominant and able to secure resources around the planet, you know, whether or not it's good or bad, that's it's what we do. So we have to keep doing this stuff if we want to keep up the status quo. So moving on into you, you uh, handled the that very, very non-politically, very good of you. Yeah, I would have not handled that so well. Well, <laughs> so I do have a strong opinion about it, but like yeah. I say, whether it's good or bad. Uh, There are certain things we have to do Mm -hmm. to uh, keep our standard of living going. So you can use Android to kill enemy soldiers, but not for dogs. No. Sorry, that was a little political. (laughs) They say (laughs) strictly forbidden. (laughs) Strictly only killing humans. Yeah. Um, But there was a dog fighting app that was in the Android market. And, of course, not cool. Dogs are not to be killed. I thought you were going to say dogs are people, too. I almost did. (laughs) But uh, dogs, uh, uh, like dog fighting, is not you know. Yeah, even Michael Vick jumped on this bandwagon because you know now he's the mm-hmm. you know the spokesman poster boy for you know anti-dog. the anti dog fighting. So, nice. and uh, it has been pulled. Yeah, and this was I mean it showed like it had different pictures of dogs showed their temperament, their oh. intelligence, and their attack, and uh, like mm-hmm. all this other stuff. Come on, guys! The people that made this app started trying to backtrack, saying. Oh no, you know, we're we're trying to raise awareness of dog fighting. We're not trying to promote it or whatever. Yeah. It was like freaking Pokemon dog fighting. <laughs> Do you know what oh I mean? really? So it was simulated dog fights and everything? Yeah. Oh wow. So I don't know about like the animations or anything like mm-hmm. that, but it was still like different breeds of dogs, ratings. It was like Pokemon dog fighting. That's you know. So Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Dog. Hmm. Or puppy. Pokemon puppy. Oh, that sounds cute. It does sound cute. Somebody should make that app. <laughs> and watch it get pulled. <laughs> <laughs> they're not fighting. They're yeah, just, just wrestling. They, they come up to each other and pot each other. <laughs> <laughs> they're petting each other. They're friendly dog fighting. That's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. All right. So but let's. It, it is a fight for apps. Yeah. And yeah. Amazon is taking, Ooh. taking it serious. They're taking it to the street. Yeah. So, if you buy a phone from Amazon Wireless, Mm -hmm. you receive a $25 credit on the Amazon App Store. That's a good deal. This is genius. You know, not only are they making money, obviously, from the back end selling these apps, Mm -hmm. but Amazon, as a lot of people already realize, they sell phones, too. Yeah. So, So they just sell you the phone. They don't sell you any service or anything. Yeah, they totally sell you service. They sell you service? Yeah, it's a reseller. You know, so I, any, oh, okay. like, so if we wanted to, we could be resellers, mm-hmm. you know, which why do we, we don't want to get tangled up in that. But mm-hmm. uh, just about anybody can. You can open up a website. You'll see a lot of these Android uh, news sites are also right. resellers for okay. Android phones. It's kind of like a, it's a synergy, vertical mm-hmm. integration thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gag me with the spoon, right? Yeah. Whatever. I have, a, I have a good episode of Dilbert that you should watch on Synergy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's good. I'm gonna keep quoting Dilbert to you until you watch it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. a quick rundown on some of the, watch it the other news that we uh, saw come out this week: the White House has released an Android app. Yeah, Android's so, all over the government, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, nice to see some not just modernization of our forces, but not some modernization of the bureaucracy forces. Am I gonna? <laughs> can I spit that out? Can I say it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Equifax has released an Android app, so now you can monitor your credit from your mobile phone. Wow. So cool. uh, that's good. some nice stuff. Uh, Google has been slapped with a $5 million patent fine for Linux kernel Ooh, no infringements. Good no yeah. good gurgle. Yeah. Some company called Rock something or another. It's basically a patent troll. It's mm-hmm. saying something in the Linux kernel violates one of our patents. And so Google's going to have to go through and rewrite the source code uh, to make it non infringing. Along with every Linux distribution? Yes. Okay. Red Hat filed a brief in defense of Google. And uh, they're the most notable one, and yeah. it did not fly. So, but here's the other thing, though. This is in the uh, uh, 
the court that is in Texas. I, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't remember the name of it, but Texas, is, the, this specific court in Texas is notorious for backing patent holders. Right. So pretty much if you hold a patent on something and you sue them in Texas, you're just about guaranteed to get it. And then that company, of course, Google is going to be appealing this. Mm-hmm. Uh, then once it goes up to a higher court or whatever, then things will be a little bit different. But the Texas court has pretty much been specialized in uh, patent lawsuits. Yeah. <laughs> so They got a good game down there. Yeah, good good times. <laughs> so uh, some other exciting things. Uh, Amazon is not the only company now giving away free apps. Uh, this new company called Offered App is giving away paid apps for free legally. It's not some you stole it website. Uh, it's offeredapp.com, o f f e r e d a p p dot com. Works on Android, iPhone, and BlackBerry. Ooh. You just have to give them some personal information. Mm-hmm. Let them bug you with uh, you know some sales mm-hmm. pitches and stuff on stuff. Yep. Track your phone. You know, just the regular, <laughs> the regular thing. So you're sold to get some free apps. Right. So Good whatever. Times. Yeah. So I'd like to close out this episode with a handy quote from Steve Jobs. Okay. Uh, related to the last story here. So it's an interesting quote considering Apple's lawsuit against Amazon over the uh, App Store slash App Store, one or two words, who knows, trademark. So Apple has claimed that App Store is not a generic phrase and Mm -hmm. it's a protected trademark, which Mm -hmm. they filed for a trademark, right? Right, They they own the the trademark, whatever. Um, But here's the interesting thing. We have a link up on the site too, so you can check this out. Back in October 2010, in an earnings call, Steve Jobs used the phrase thusly, quote, In addition to Google's own app marketplace, Amazon, Verizon, and Vodafone have all announced that they are creating their own app stores for Android. So there will be at least four app stores on Android, which customers must search among to find the app they want and developers will need to work with to distribute their apps to get paid, end quote. Hmm. So he used the word app store? As like in Kleenex or Xerox. or As a generalization for it. That's right. So, sorry, Steve, but you just proved the complete opposite argument that your company is mm-hmm. making. So, I wanna... Steve Jobs, though, he can be crazy at times. Yeah, but I have to say, this is probably going to come into play in this well, lawsuit. Sure. You know, <laughs> when they say, well, do you have any evidence that this isn't uh, particular? Well, yeah, you know, the CEO of the company that's suing us right now used it on uh, an earnings call. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you have audio of that? Yeah, everybody does. Uh, go to any Mac website and look it up, and boom, there it is. It is done. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it, what it, what do you think about that? Do you think App Store is trademarkable? Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, trademark mm-hmm. is kind of broken, but yeah. Well, patents are broken too. Exactly. But we all know how we all feel about that, right? Yeah. So I don't know. If you've got enough money, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It seems to go for just about anything now, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think that, I think this really has sunk their argument. Oops. So, oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, well, if you want to see some more Apple bashing, you know where to go. TheAndroidAppShow.com. We have tons of Apple bashing on there for your Android-loving pleasure. Uh, we also, incidentally, have some app reviews and news about Android. Mm-hmm. And you can also visit our YouTube channel. That is YouTube.com slash TheAndroidAppShow. Watch all of these episodes get the latest and greatest even like kind of the individual app reviews are on there I that's right individually packaged mm-hmm. easy to consume cut through the 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 the, 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 uh, the um. uh, stuff like that <laughs> and just get right to the meat of the subject that's uh, but right. if you want more stuff like that you can follow us on twitter uh, we like to spout off Interesting things in 140 characters. Is it yeah, 40 or 60? Yeah, it's, it's it's 140. Yeah, if you don't like the if you don't like the show, don't like the video. You can read the tweets. If it's too long. If our video is too long for you, tweet 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 tweet, tweet us. We like to be tweeted. There you go. And that is the Android app show. Yeah, if you want to check out some phone reviews, though, you know we're also involved in another little project called the Android Tech Show. You can check that out at theandroidtechshow.com. Mm-hmm. We uh, let's see. Our most current reviews are like the Samsung Continuum, the HTC Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt's cool. I like that. That's one. right. The Motorola Zoom. Coming up, we have a Casio phone. It's a super <laughs> rugged. Yeah, that's right. It's an really? Android phone that's super ruggedized and it meets all kinds of military specs or whatever. Built-in calculator. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know, but that would be, be interesting. Casio uh, makes some super rugged, awesome stuff. Yes. Like yes, their, their digital cameras. So good. Yeah. Uh, but we also have the Droid Charge coming up and the HTC Incredible 2. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the Droid Incredible 2. Now, I had a friend who was going to get an Android phone on Verizon. What would you say right now? Right now? Ooh. Right now, right now? This would be a good feature for our show. Yeah. I I would have to say that that Thunderbolt is what Thunderbolt. To, you'd buy right now, right That's now. That's what I told him. So... If it was me personally, though, I'd wait for the dual core phone to come. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so there we go. It's an interesting stuff, though. There's a dual, good dual core phone on T-Mobile, the G2X or the GX2, mm-hmm. I think it is. So that one's pretty awesome. And the Atrix on AT and T. Uh, the Atrix is pretty awesome on AT and T. I'd say that's the best. And Sprint has, uh, well, they have the Nexus S coming to it now, and I'd say that that's probably the best. But that competes kind of with the Evo 3D. But that's not coming out until June. The Nexus S is coming out mm-hmm. like next week. It's this week or next week. So cool. All right. Check that out. There you go. Just a quick one. A quickie for you. There you go. Quick right. rundown. Check out the tech show for more. Yeah. And we will see you guys next week with some more great news. Hope you enjoyed it. We're watching you. No, we're not. Yes, we are. How do you stop this thing?